All right, here we go. Here's the challenge. We are going to run, follow Winter Home. We're going to run in survivor mode and we're going to fill up the Dreadnought and we're going to launch a Dreadnought before the generator explodes at the end. Uh, this was suggested in a comment and I first thought this was totally impossible for the first two weeks. I thought this was not something that was going to be doable. Just couldn't produce enough steel. You need like 4,000 steel or something insane. But after some tweaking and some tuning and kind of revisiting this over and over and over, I've done it twice. We're going to see if we can get it recorded here. Timer's just for fun. And I will try and talk through uh, all the decisions I'm making as we go. But let's dive right in. So let's go. First thing up is steam level two and fill up the public house and then your med posts. Okay, now food, because I want these guys to bring back some food for today. Kill off some of these extra steam hubs I don't need. And then from here, we're going to start deleting some roads. Okay. I'm waiting for the discontent to come down. So the heat, the heat level brings the discontent down. Uh, that allows you to get the radical treatment law signed, which is what I'm trying to go for, because I'm trying to get to overcrowding as soon as possible. In order to keep the hope from absolutely dying on you, you got to keep people from dying. And so this seems to be one of the easiest ways in my experience to do this. And if we go to level two on the generator, it seems to get them there a little bit faster. Now there's a ton of roads that you can dismantle or delete on this map. So I'm doing that to just stockpile on day one for everything I need. All this stuff can be gone. Don't need any of it. You can delete all these without losing people's access to work or whatnot. Okay, good. Scout is going out next. Tier. And we're going to send them directly to the weather station in order to bring people back. Start filling up some of these workplaces while the discontent comes down just a little bit more. I think it's good now. Out of treatment, we sign it. Go back to level one for the steam and then just start dismantling some of the stuff that we don't need. Research is going to be faster gathering and I want to throw up four more workshops here and fill up the food, fill up the sawmill. Okay, that's my cue. Every time I see that pop up, I hold down alt and I'm going to assign people to come get all of this ruins over here around the generator. I want to get people living here as soon as I can. Goal of day one is to get everyone living in a tent or a bunkhouse that is warm, at least in range of heat. Don't want anyone freezing at night. It just makes the sick way too out of control if you don't do that. So I'm assigning all these people to the wood piles and then to this steel over here, which will be in range of that steam hub when it turns on. And I just want to get through day one. I want these um, workshops all finish before I build anything else so that the engineers don't move around. Oh, I'm missing over here. A little bit of extra road so I can build around there with some stuff I want. And then let's get these engineers in here and get them to work. Okay. Good. Let's get three and four up and then we'll build some more stuff. Okay, now I want a wall drill over here. And a sawmill. A coal mine. I want three gathering posts for tomorrow. Those won't really finish today. And I want some medical posts. I need more than that. Not enough. And we're going to need some steam hubs too, but I don't have enough to build those yet. Kill off this one bunkhouse. It's in a bad spot. One more medical post. Okay, that's good there. Fill them up. You want to get people healthy as soon as you can. That guy wants to go do some research so that less people get amputated, which is cool because then I have more workers, not less. And we're going to need to get some more tents built. Okay, steel's coming in. 
I need to place three steam hubs in some spots that's going to keep these people warm. I feel like that was in the wrong spot. No, that was right. And there. Okay, so they're going to be cold, freezing, freezing. All these tents that are not going to be in heat tonight. I don't want people sleeping there. That one, this one, and that one. So I've got 100 people without a place to sleep. We'll build some more soon. Actually, you know what? Let's get these guys going. Research finished straight into Steam Steelworks, which is why you need those engineers to do research right away. This is done. We'll dismantle it, and the workday is over, so we'll dismantle this too. Scouts coming back with the engineers. I'm going to bring them back rather than send them on their way. If you send them on their way, some of them will die. And I want every single engineer I can get. They really matter at the end. Okay, now I need a resource depot. Just one. Overdrive, because it's late. Discontent Falls, that's nice. Get some more housing going. Got 30 more people I need to put to, uh, to bet somewhere here. Uh, that should be everybody. Now, if I can get some more gathering posts at a few choice spots here, that's always nice. Just to start moving people around tomorrow. And the next law is straight into overcrowding, which is why you've got to sign radical treatment first. Getting that overcrowding on day two is critical. All right, now, scout. Heading to Snowcliff next for a single core. And then after that theme core is found, we're going to go find some raw food. Because everyone's about to be starving. First death, not uncommon. Happens frequently. First day, we need one more tent. Okay, overdrive off at 5 a.m. Make sure all these guys have heat. All right, good. Not bad. Everyone get to work. And then we gotta build some gathering posts because all these piles are gonna start to get cleaned up here. I want all of these tents moved. I'm gonna move them today. So during the day, it's fine to dismantle them. You just can't have them out there at night. And then I'm a gathering post here. I want a snow pit here. And then I want one more resource depot so I don't run out of eel storage because it's going to get ramped up here really fast. Okay, voice in the ruins. Anytime you run into one of these, throw a full stack of people on it. Give them a steam hub. And hopefully they find them by day two. Gathering post here. One there. There. And that's a good start. Next, next is going to be some food, and then I've got to save the wood. Next research is actually very expensive. I think it's 125 wood, 75 steel, in order to upgrade to the next tier of research. What are these guys doing? They're all going to build. Okay. They'll get to work soon. Maybe I can rotate them? Going to dismantle. They're all busy. That's why you don't want to build during the day. It gets your people not going to work. That's okay. They'll settle in, though. Okay, I've got enough for the research, which is critical to make sure that you don't have to wait on that. Switch steam hubs to work hours when you can. Don't have them all burning 24 hours. And then also just general comment. I see a lot of people do this where they um, double up steam 
hubs, right, where they build one steam hub within range of another one, it really wastes coal and warm area. It doesn't double the temperature. It'll spread out your stuff. I'll stack them. A little bit more housing. Clear that out. Hopefully that finishes today. It probably won't. That's fine. And research 125 and 75. Fire it off and throw down the upgrade at the end of the workday. Don't do it now because it won't even produce steel. Okay, a little extra food. Um, and housing. So how many more people do we need here? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That should get everyone a place to sleep. Uh, we're going to get rid of this. I don't need it anymore. We're going to promise to feed them. Run the overdrive for tonight. This is steel. I need another resource depot for coal soon. And let's do steam steelworks. And more gathering posts if I can fit them anywhere else. Oh, this house has to go. Any other food I can fit in? There's one more. That'll help. And I really only want kids working in these gathering posts if I can. I want all the workers available to go into hunter huts. Is that everybody? I think so. Uh, we're going to do one more coal. Overdrive's on. Alright, bring that food back. I need actually a little bit more housing over here. Because I want to kill those two off. Make sure they got a warm place to go first. Okay, 5 a.m. Overdrive off. Clean up some of this mess over here. I want to throw down a, another cookhouse. You need two cookhouses to cook all this food. You could try to do it with one, but it just seems to not work out. Alright, nice. That one's done. Let's get another steam. Steelworks going, and we'll just let those guys kind of work for today. Oh, I do want another gathering post right there. All right, now, I want hardly anyone cooking to save as much raw food as I can until I sign the next law, which is gonna be food additives here. Don't mess around, don't sign soup, just go straight food additives. Boom. Let's get these guys fed. There's our raw food just in time for us to cook it. And now we're going to head to the weather station as like a rally point that we will jump off of to go find that automaton and some more engineers. Okay, next upgrade. So we are going to need 50 wood for the next upgrade. We're going to cut that dude's leg off. We're going to keep the food going here. Dries off. Always good to double, triple check that. You don't want to blow up your generator, especially if you're trying to go fast, which I don't recommend, but I just can't seem to play the game any other way. Okay, we found the survivor. Cool. Kill that off, and that gives me room for a gathering post over here. Let's do it. I also want one there. Difference engine, so now we go straight into advanced steel. Getting some stuff cleared up here, which is nice. Waypoint reached. Now we're heading back on to the next place. Uh, I will not address that, but I will give you overdrive. And I will throw down a few more fence. And start dismantling what I can over here.
hunters. Okay, time for these to go. You really do want to try to build and move things at night if you can. It's much more efficient for the workday instead of having them do it during the day, which will interrupt their productivity. Just have them do it at night. Uh, they'll build it first thing in the morning. It just is a lot more productive. Okay, kind of broke, but that's okay. Okay, a lot of food. We're gonna bring back what we can. Double check there's no workers in these. No, that seems good. I got starving people though. It's part of the game right now. It's gonna be that way for a little bit. 5 a.m. turn off the overdrive and I'm hoping I can start to run at level two. What's the next law? Uh, okay, so we did radical treatment to overcrowding and food additives. Now I'm going directly to emergency shift. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Split those guys. Food's getting cooked. Hopefully we don't have any starving people by the end of today. This has 200 coal left, so a good amount, but not a ton. And I believe today we're going to get another voice in the ruins. How many more people can I move? We got to start building bunkhouses. The more bunkhouses you build early, the better. It just helps out everything. People don't get sick. You don't have as many issues they're sleeping in one place uh, or one degree warmer per night okay let's check out food it says i'm in the green so i'm hoping that nobody's starving today definitely want to get a little bit more storage going going if i can hit it anywhere and let's give the kid a day off anything to raise hope do it most ruins cleared excellent i need more workers where are they all how much wood you got left? 100. That's kind of a lot. There's the automaton. Now we'll go get some iron. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. I need the workers. Do other stuff. Okay. We are kind of full on resources so spend it on bunkhouses but don't go insane don't upgrade every single person and then i'm going to get a little bit of storage we're going to build both of those really get the steel cranking overdrive level two so when you go to overdrive with level two and you're in a tent you get this comfortable living temperature which prevents people from getting ill so i'm washing that sick number right here where I've got 15 people not in a medical bed. Uh, what do I need here? I think that's got to be steel. We'll wait. Mine has to be raw food. Okay, extended shift. Love it. My favorite law. Besides overcrowding. Move the scout on and everyone is going to do extended shifts at every gathering post every place of work right now. It's going to make them really angry. They're going to give me the ultimatum for like a couple days to fix discontent or they're going to disown you or whatever, but got to do it. It's the right thing to do. How many engineers I got? Just one. Let's spread these out a little bit. There's people are furious. Knew it was coming. Turn the overdrive off. And we should be able to operate at level two. Let her have a day off. More hope. Sure. Overdrive's off. Double check it. It says I have nine hours of runtime left, but 
This should be fixed. I hope. Between all this overtime work and stuff. We don't have any starving. Oh, there's one person starving. Someone died. Another voice in the ruins. Throw up whoever you can. Let's empty this dude out. Throw him on there. Okay, steam coal pumper. Uh, they won't hurt anyone. We got it cleared out. That's cool, even before the heat turned on. Okay, let me see if I could get rid of some more housing over here. Nice, that's everyone. So I can kill this off. And it's day five, which means it's about to get really cold. More bunkhouses. Too crazy. Another coal mine's going down. Nope, they've already paid for their crimes. No need to do anything there. What do you got left? 60 wood on that. Now we're going to get more people. hours till that automaton gets here. Can't get here fast enough. Really cool to see a lot of this stuff cleared out. Let's see what's left. Um, we're full on wood, which is why it's complaining. Let's get a little more storage going. There's some spots over here I need to connect still. And that kind of does it. I'm going to move all the people to live over here. Need a little expansion spot. Good. And let's see. Can't get it all. He reaches it and reaches the rest, so that's fine. He's got here. I need one here. Nope, not yet. That reaches it all. That's good. going to kill one more of these off. I need more workers right now. Okay, so radical treatment to overcrowding, the food additives, emergency shift, extended shift. I am done over there for a while. We are going to now get neighborhood watch. And dismantle a few places so I can get that built. Uh, let's get some more resource depots going. Spend that stuff I got. I need one for wood. We need one for raw food. We need one for food. And we'll take another coal and steel. Okay, more bunkhouses. Give them some overdrive. And bring the scientists back. Let's go. Get here. I'm going to dismantle all that. This could be off right now until I build over there. Two towers going up. Okay, cruising along. Now what? Um, I could get that to get some workers, flying hunters, fix foods forever. I could warm them up a bit. Um, go for infirmary. I'm going to do flying hunters because I can reduce how many people I need actually working on that stuff. And then today is day six, so this is where it gets cold. By tonight, you want to make sure everyone's in a bunkhouse. There's the automaton right on time. Put him in here. Gathering post gone. Great. And it is cold. I should have built these yesterday. But better late than never.
done. Work hours. That one's going to be 24. That one will be work hours. Kill that off. And this one. Good idea. Extra food for the kids. Let's turn this on and start building some bunk houses up here. Along with a watchtower. And not bad. I kind of going okay. Coal mine for us. Some more kids gathering coal here. That was 24. This one is extended hours. Extended, extended. Okay, uh, so now what do I want to do? Do I want to warm them up? I think I do. A little bit of heat goes a long way towards preventing too many people from getting sick. Okay, it's getting cold. Let's, uh, I will upgrade food tomorrow. I don't want to spend it today. So if I spend it now, those people won't go get food tonight. But I do want to, actually, you know what? These can work one more day. They're pretty warm out there. It's not going to be a problem. Okay, now we're cruising. We're at level two. Coal's good. Food is in the green, but it's not enough. Uh, miraculous recovery. Good for you. Now I need to dismantle some of these places that I don't want. I want to kill off this whole area over here. Alright, workshops. Three there. Two there. It's every workshop working in a place of warmth. More engineers, beautiful. Okay, now we're heading over here to get another core. I'm going to dismantle this one, it's kind of in the way. Clear out some of these unnecessary roads. More bunkhouses over here. Fill up my medical posts. And... Time to run an emergency shift. I've got three days before the kind of discontent gets crazy and, and that timer's done. Work time. Get back to work. Uh, guard stations, which I can't sign because they're all mad, but the work day's just started, so we can really reduce the discontent by just turning these off during the work day, which you don't lose any productivity. And that should be enough to sign the law. Listen, everyone. And then you just Your turn it right back signed. on. No big deal. Okay, gotta make sacrifices to survive. Voice in the Ruins should be the last one, I think. When you one gathering, I'll only get two to clear that up pretty quickly. And let's double check any bunkhouses needed. I don't know. I think I'm going to try and kill this off over here. So I do need a little bit more housing over this way. No problem. Victims rescued. Got him. Don't even need this thing. Even it's building. Guard stations built. Great. Some heat. And let's get some heat efficiency. Now we gotta get... That was a waste. Uh, some discontent down. Cool. In the green for productivity. Nothing to do there and keep it moving. Alright. Uh, discontent. I got one day to lower it. 
give them some overdrive today. Get these people healthy. And the discontent should steadily come down here. Get them fed. Oh, you know what I can do now? There. That's going to create a ton of food for tomorrow. Got the discontent down. Except we need it to get lower. And we need hope to go up. Now the reason my hope is not bottomed out is because I don't have people dying left and right every day. If you keep them in a place that's warm, you keep them fed, you should be able to avoid the hope completely bottoming out on you and losing the game because of it. Okay, research is clipping along. Coal's good. Those don't need to be extended. Um, I am going to make these extended. I'll deal with it later. But I want to start gathering as much coal as I can get. And then... I need wood. I don't have a ton. Steel and coal. My two favorite things for this scenario. And... Now what? Um, this is very helpful. Let's go ahead and crank out some of these other ones. And then get an infirmary, I guess. It's not going to hurt anything. That wasn't smart. Usually I have that connected up already. Hopefully it doesn't hurt me too bad. I can deal with like one day of people being hungry, but not two. Okay, cool. Didn't ruin the food. Gotta lower the discontent before we lose. But the next thing we're going to do is should restore the hope, I think. Give him some overdrive tonight. Now we're going to sign Propaganda Center, which I can't do because, what, discontent's too high? It should come down. Okay, now forget all these other places over here. You don't even need to go to them. We're just going for more cores. Can I really not sign that yet? Discontent's too high. Okay, well, we can fix that. That's what should be enough. And that will fix your hope. We'll also eventually fix the discontent. Get a little more storage going. Propaganda center built. Use the thing. There is the hope and let's reduce the discontent. Let's see if we can get it all the way down. It's pretty bad. It's at, it's at what uh, it was the emergency ship that kind of did it. We should get it there today, though. A little bit of loss of productivity for not that big a deal. Okay, feed all the starving. Discontent steadily coming down here. A little bit of food for us. And I've got one day to get the discontent down below that, which I believe is going to happen hopefully really soon. There's the infirmary. Let's get it. Come on, go, go, go. Get down. Perfect. Okay, now we can abuse them. Let's get the rest of the food. Convert it over. Uh, do not use the guards. Save those for the end. Save them, save them, save them. Uh, not right now, but I will research that soon. What? Let him rest. There's no reason. I have plenty of workers. And I have to remember that these were not on extended shifts before I started the emergency shift. discontent. Come on down. It's lowering. It's getting there. Turn off the overdrive. 
And research is the infirmary. That's going to be a nice help. And it just got warmer. Things are going our way today. Let's get to Flying Hunter's gear. Let's get two infirmaries going. And I don't even have that many people sick anymore. So I'm going to move some of these out. Free up some engineers. We're going to get these guys healed up. It's content of all. It's beautiful. Actually, I only need those two infirmaries. Uh, yeah, they deserve it. I'm going to have plenty of food. Food's not going to be a problem. So now all of my sick are going to be treated in the infirmaries. I don't I have capacity for 40 people, 20 and 20. So we don't need this anymore. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. So we can put a cookhouse over here. Let that all kind of work. Switch these to extended shifts. Caught it. And yeah, we're ripping here. It's going good. Good run so far. Flying hunters, and now what? Now what? Now what? We gotta do the repair station. Can't wait on that anymore. Nope, not that. I want to get foreman as soon as possible. So we're gonna do foreman gathering directly into foreman. Now, the reason I'm building more bunkhouses out here, uh, these steam hubs, is I'm going to have to clear out this entire outer ring here of houses, and I'm just going to start chipping away at it so it's not like something I have to do overnight right away once we lose access to that heat. Rebuild the public house. Let's actually get two more of these going. I want to bring in a ton of food if I can. Start stockpiling it. Get some more storage going. It doesn't really matter where it goes. It's fine to have it be messy. And generator condition worsens. And uh, burn his poems. Sure. Sounds fun. These guys are really warm. So we need coal, we need food, we need steel, and we'll wait. Actually, we need another coal. Uh, okay, I got everything here. I could get some more here, but it can wait. Got this. Let's do a little bit of efficiency while I build the repair station. And we have a ton of food now. Unlimited supply, pretty much. So this 24-hour shift is almost done. We're right in time to sign foreman. So that I could run this and get 40% productivity for an emergency shift. Hold out for a couple more days. Let's research this thing. And the next thing I'm going to get for a law is the agitators. I don't need to use that on there. Last dreadnought. Actually, two days, one day left. Five hours. Uh, five hours. Five hours. Food, just use it. Okay, report is ready. I'm gonna just say I don't know, but we have to try. Take those engineers out. Um, actually, they can stay in for the moment. No, I need to send 25. So we have to build this. Not now. Uh, remove the writing. Not bad, not bad. I like where we're at. Come, lads. We must work harder. 
give everyone some food here. Crank up the productivity for everybody. And we did that. Now I want agitators. to send some engineers on their way. The rest of them come back here. I'm building the agitators. So we're doing okay on these things over here on the left. Can't lose sight of that. Sometimes I just stop paying attention to it and I lose for like really silly reasons. Uh, I need one here. You gotta work faster, bro health. That's good enough. Okay, generator is going to break down pretty soon. Might be tonight. And I got to watch these. Every single time it's available, I'm going to crank both of those and just keep the emergency just going. There it is. Generator failure. So pull everyone off of your workshops. Lowers discontent. Nice. Makes no sense, but take it. Make sure it's filled up. This guy's almost done. Getting all those steam cores for us. Any wood left. Fill that up. Get this generator back online pretty quick. As it gets colder, get that thing back online. No time to wait. We've got work to do. Good. And almost there. Resources. We are just bringing in a massive amount of food here. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and send out those provisions and some kids and some steel. Get the first shipment going out there. So, we gotta fill up all these people. We gotta fill up this whole thing and all of this and give it 5,000 coal before the generator blows up to beat this. This is really tough. Okay, only take what can safely be reached. There is like a bunch more steel that you can get if you risk it. I did not want to go the route of having to rely on that because I was no way I was going to get through this far into the run and have to lose or start over because that scout dies with all those cores. Still in the green on that. This has got to be full, I guess. And we'll get one more for some more food. I want a whole bunch of food stockpiled now so I can dismantle all these and send those people to the, um, the Dreadnought. Hundred and fifty. That is an expensive upgrade. I don't have a lot, and I don't want to wait for it. So let's do a cheapy. That's only thirty wood. We'll do that. I need it anyways. No time to wait. We've got work to do. Okay, long time for that to go, and I don't really need the coal. I say no to everybody, like usual. Next one, I guess let's send some more food since I have a lot of that. I don't send it all. And some more steel. Pretty good second delivery. Discontent falls. I uh, can't make exceptions. Not gonna happen. He's then gonna try and leave on his own, but we're gonna hurt him. And he's gonna go to the infirmary and maybe live. Let's get that reduced by five. Stop him. He comes gravely ill, and I think he dies. 
They have a lot of room in the infirmary, so we should get treated. They're super warm. And this dude is done. I do not need a scout for anything. I could go get this extra wood that's out here. Allow me to dismantle that wall drill early, so let's do that. It's really not necessary, though. Okay, uh, Pledge of Loyalty or Patrol. I'm going to do Patrol because you can use it frequently. Gives you a nice little boost for the discontent. Send the guards in and let's send uh, one core. I actually want one more infirmary here. And I can send the rest. Send steel and food and some people. So that'll be our next delivery. Okay, so it gets colder again, but we're still fine. Running at level three, and now after this delivery, since it has a core, I can start sending um, coal. So I won't get too full on this, hopefully not max out. Let's do that. And, oh no, I can't, I, it hasn't gone yet. We can do the food, we can do some more here, send it. Force them to work, get some productivity out of them, and straight into the emergency shift with the foreman for those guys. I should run that. Fresh time. Work is done for the day. Let's see how cold they are. They're plenty warm. Plus, I don't have anyone that's really sick. So we're doing good. Okay, there's a the generator dying. Empty out your workshops. Send him over here. Give him some boost with the foreman. Not bad. Still, like, really good pace. Stop them. If the discontent was low, you can actually uh, convince them to stay, but my discontent's never low. It's always skyrocketing. Oh, I need an agitator here. That's what I was missing. Okay, uh, food and health is done. I need no other upgrades here. Resources, done. Don't need anything else. Don't need that. And now I just want this. Come on, generator. It's back. Level three. Keep the engineers on it. Run a patrol. No, don't take the take the engine off of it. Put them in your workshops. Okay, next law. So we can sign Pledge of Loyalty. No, we can't. Discontent's too high. But we will fix that. Oh yeah, let's keep the provisions. Go max on coal, because I'm almost maxed out on that. And send some more people. We'll just do that. Short delivery here. Some of these bunkhouses are going to start to get cold because they're in freezing temperatures here. Okay. I probably don't need all that wood, but I'm going to get it anyways. It's not going to do any harm. Move this into the warmth here. And anyone else that's freezing? Let's check, take a look. All the bunkhouses should be yellow. That's cool. Uh, do they need some overdrive? No, they're plenty warm. Can't skip the emergency shifts on the steel. That's like the most critical thing you can't do. And Pledge of Loyalty. Not quite there yet. Generator power upgrade. Like 
do the overdrive? Can I lower it enough in combination with reducing this? There we go. Bunch of loyalty. Turn the overdrive off. Okay, disband that dude, and we're almost here. <coughs> okay, it's it's going well. Um, I need to start. Can link some of these off. I need you all here. Let's see what else can we send. Let's send the coal and some people. So how are we doing? Tons of steel still needed. Steam cores needed. But I like where I'm at with the people. All right, that's the last upgrade, I believe. Going to start dismantling some of these bunkhouses around here. Don't need them. Check out, we're running in the red, so let's take it down one. And actually, I don't want to use the overdrive. I would recommend at this point not using the overdrive at all. Um, it's going to be problematic because the overdrive will reduce how much time you have to repair the generator because as this whole overdrive thing goes up like this meter it's used when calculating how much time you have to repair the generator no time to waste. see how many of these I can get out of the way quite a bit we go all the way around? Yes, we can. Beautiful. Sleeping on that a little bit, but I don't think it was that bad. And, okay. Let's double check. Heating. I don't need anything else. I don't need that. We don't need anything. Okay. Good. Done. Done. Good. All good. Force them to work. And now I can dismantle all of these. They don't have any more research to do. I can send a few engineers, more people, cabins, provisions, coal. Just keep firing it off. I believe that's going to be all the coal. We're done with food, which is pretty cool. So now I have a massive amount of food that I can just kind of stockpile, and I could start to send 50 of these guys at a time out there. How much food is that? About five days worth. And we're gonna sign a new order. I think you don't have to sign it, but it, it seems to like just make things easier. Especially at the very end. Make sure I don't lose too many people here. Uh, stop the fight. Actually, I actually don't think I need like that's so much raw food. It's gonna take forever to cook all that. Trying to keep the discontent a little bit lower from now on. As I raise it up, of course. Uh, let's do this. Let's get everyone kind of cranked up. Get that coal really stockpiled again before I start dismantling stuff. And this is going to be raw food and... I don't know yet. We'll just leave it. You could take either option there. I don't think that one really matters. Okay, coal's done. Provisions are done. Not now. So we have all the food and we have all the coal. Very good. Let's start focusing on the people and the steel, which is the name of the game from here on out. Generator's gonna break down again, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I can't remember. There it is. And we 
pick it up. Get to work. We're at 54 minutes. This is definitely a slower run, but... It's not bad. Like, I, I do feel like I'm kind of zipping through it. Generator back online. There we go. And now the heat range is less, so I, I need that, that group. I'm trying to see how many of these I can get rid of. I'm going to put a couple of... What are they called? They're not infirmaries. The other one. Uh, punish them, sure. Keep our eye on the discontent. Okay, I got more people coming back. I have seven days worth of food. We leave in five days. I have 755 raw food. None of these guys need to do anything else. We're done with that. So let's send 50 people and see how much steel we send. Oh, we need so much more. These guys got to keep working. I don't have so much range, so I need to kill off some of these. Keep them toasty. That's done. Those are done. How many of these can I dismantle? Good amount. I'm not going to take too many. Cold, are they? Oh, they're plenty warm. It's not that bad. Four days left, nine days worth of food, plus a ton of raw food. This guy doesn't need to be extended hours anymore. Uh, we're gonna go to level four, which is why you have to research it. And some of the bunkhouses are now in the freezing. Rough that dude up. How many workers? I only have a few people to send out. I have four days worth of coal. It's not enough yet to kill that off. Uh, I kind of need everybody that I've got in the base right now. So this is going to be pretty much a steel delivery only. Send some kids out. 20 kids. That's pretty good. We're inching our way there. Uh, convince them to stay. That's pretty nice. That triggered right there. That's pretty good timing. Attention. Shift is over. Proceed to quarters. Praise our glorious leader. And now I can sign the care house. That's what I was thinking of. And I'm going to build several of these because I'm going to just have people living in them at the end. We're going to dismantle these. Care house promise fulfilled. Very good. Give them some warmth. Okay, let's crank up the coal for today. So how many days? Three days left. Three days. do want to dismantle your buildings. This allows you to get back steel that you need. The wood I don't care about. And you also don't need storage for it, uh, for the wood. But steel you definitely want to keep going. Okay, I don't need that. Uh, I want that. I do want that for now. Leave him be. He's not dangerous. Uh, all the food I'm not stressing about. Raw food. I don't need storage for. I'm not bringing any more in. We'll come back, fix that later. Now we're the discontent, and let's see who we're gonna send now. Okay, three days. I got three days, eight hours left. 
Uh, we're running at level four. Yes, but barely hanging on. Uh, cabins, more steel. And it's just, it's just a problem. Everything's a problem. Um, let's just go ahead and send it. Generator's gonna break down one more time. And I'm trying to make sure I have enough coal for the time that I'm gonna be here. Uh, no, no more overdrive. Don't do it. Oh, that was close, too. Uh, I've got everyone in there. This is the last repair. So after this, I can start to send engineers uh, to the dreadnought. So I've got nine days left, two days left. Uh, leave them to their fate. I think it's the right choice. I kind of forget on that one. Not yet. One more day. One more time. Because the generator is going to turn back on and that's going to lower the disconnect. And we're going to send a lot of people. Frostbite, I see. Okay, generator is back. Going to level four. We got all sorts of problems here. We'll kill these off. Those are going to run. These are going to run a little bit longer. Okay, kill those off. Let's get some people healthy. We should lower the discontent here. More steel. More people. We're going to really start sending them out. Um, I do not need... What do we got? Two days left? I don't need any more coal. We are... We don't need it. Don't even gather it. Don't even waste it. Just dismantle all this stuff. I need steel. Don't need these. And we're doing pretty good. Not bad. This one too? Give me... Kill that. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, no overdrive. Okay. Uh, what do we got? So I need what, four more cores, like 2,000 more steel, and a bunch more people. So I've got some people to send. These guys can't go, they have to stay. I can't get rid of these guard posts and stuff, I'm gonna need them. I want at least one infirmary to heal people. And yeah, we could dismantle some more houses. Bunk houses. I think I've already sent all the cores, right? No. How many more? They need four more, I think. Uh, use lethal force to stop them. That was one of the last things I'm looking for. Children didn't arrive. Kind of knew that was going to happen. Make sure your steel production is there. And now I want to kill off all of this. I don't need storage or anything except steel. Okay. Six hours till they come back. I have 23 engineers. I have all the cores. Um, Got a lot of people hurt, but they'll get healed up here. Force them to work for sure. You guys are not getting out of it. You're going to be working till the end. Oh, I don't need this. I don't need coal deliveries. 
All right, so people, 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 cabins. Um, just send them all, it doesn't matter. We'll take a look. Oh, we are so close. This might be it. Let's see if we can keep the discontent down. We're gonna die, that's gonna happen here. And pretty soon, in one day, the generator is going to turn off completely. Anything else I need? I'm having good moonshine, but I think that that is fine. Last thing, I'll pull the sign. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Go to level four, just for the very end. And I guess I should keep dismantling. Okay, that's it. So how many people do I have left to send? 13 kids, that's it, plus these 20 workers. We can take five out of there. I mean, we could take a couple out of there. Try and only have... Maybe two in each of these? Still pretty far away from the amount of steel I need. Four hours till these guys get here. One of our people died. These don't. Stop dying. Okay, how many people? There's 500 steel in that, so we're getting darn close. I don't know if that's all the steel. I think it's close, but there's definitely some more people that need to be in there. Survivors? I don't know how many people it was. It wasn't that many. And I don't want to run the overdrive. I think it steals time away from you here at the end. If you do it. Generator's dead. That's it. Final hours. So this is this is the last run here. We gotta see how many people we need discontent I don't really care about there's one more thing where they'll probably be super mad um, and I'll use the guards if they are still around but by the time that this guy gets here we gotta evacuate the next shipment has to be the last group of people in steel to be gone Our leader calls us to work. just trying to do what I can to keep the discontent from going too crazy I gotta use lethal force I want everyone to stay here I don't care about laws. Um, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. Don't need it. Escort that dude home. No matter what, um, I need people. So, do we fill up the steel? I can't tell until it gets there. But we have time. I should be able to send it. It takes like 20, it takes less than a day for that train to arrive, so I've got a little bit of time to figure it out. Okay, steel is full. Is everyone full? Is it completely full of people? It didn't look like it was. 493, so I just need some people. Seven people, that's all I could send. No more steel, no more nothing. So that's it. Everyone else is staying here. That's it. 23 hours, this thing blows up in one day. This is it. This will be the, the final ending. Done. Pretty awesome. And probably going to do it in under an hour and 11 minutes or something. We'll see what the final time is, but... How you do it. As soon as this thing arrives, the Dreadnought should be completely full. We'll send it and launch it before this. You just let him go later. We'll send that Dreadnought before this thing explodes. We've got eight hours of wiggle room. And say goodbye to Winterhome. It's done for. Work is virtue. Praise our great leader. 
the foreman was really the thing that made this possible. I didn't think that this was possible, but uh, choosing the different um, tree to so you get the guard stations and stuff is what changed everything. Uh, the foreman is so powerful. It's crazy. That's it. Boom. Launch Dreadnought. One hour, ten minutes. Save everybody. Full Dreadnought. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. That was awesome. That was pretty smooth overall. Boom. Very nice. There it is, the Exodus. We got it. We took everyone we could. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a really fun challenge. Frostpunk 2 is about to come out. I'm super excited to play it. Uh, I will be playing the beta and kind of recording my experience as I go through it. And thanks for watching. Stay wise. Catch you on the flip side.